In this video I'll show you how to animate frame by frame inside of After Effects. Hi, my name is Manuel. I know that sounds really weird. Usually you would do stuff like that in Ref Animator, Photoshop or Procreate. But there's a simple trick that makes it much easier, so stick around. Here's the comp we work with. Already added a background and a floor solid. First of all, frame by frame animation is mostly done with a frame rate of 12 frames per second. So let's create a new adjustment layer, option command Y and name it FX. We add posterized time and set the frame rate to 12, which means stuff happens every second frame. Next, let's add a simple ellipse by double clicking on the ellipse tool. We open the contents property, reduce constraint proportions and set the path size to 100 each. Then let's right click on the ellipse path and convert it to a BC path. Okay, so let's move that path up and set a keyframe at the beginning and press U to see just that keyframe in the timeline. Alright, we move two frames to the right. We should move that layer below the effects layer and let's name it drop, by the way. Now, the problem in After Effects is you can't really see your last step. You're basically blind. You could go back and forth, but that's really annoying. The solution? CC white time. Let's add that effect to our effects layer. We leave all the settings as they are and here it is. CC white time looks one step back and blends it into the current frame. Awesome, right? That makes frame by frame animation in After Effects easier. Let's animate that drop and change the shape slightly. Two more frames to the right, we're moving down. The shape is turning into a drop. The distance is bigger than in the step before. It takes up speed. To adjust the handles, we use the Convert Vertex tool. Jump back to the Selection tool by pressing V. Two more frames later, the shape is even thinner and longer than before. Really helpful, we see the last step. Now the drop almost hits the floor. By the way, you could turn all that keyframes into toggle hold keyframes as well, instead of using posterized time. In the next frame, it hits the ground. So let's adjust the shape. It starts to spread out along the floor. Let's move the floor to the top so the drop disappears behind this layer. I think we need some more points here to create a nice shape, so let's split the layer. Shift Command D. We don't need these keyframes here. And add some more points using the Add Vertex tool. We've split the layer because we don't want these new points at the beginning. Maybe something like this. Then let's spread it out with two waves left and right. Spreading out even more, the waves start to flatten again. And spreading out a bit more, less height altogether. Then finally spreading a tiny little more. Let's check out what we've created so far. Don't forget to disable CC white time. Awesome. Now we should add all kinds of details, like a splash. With no shape selected, we grab the pen tool and draw a little splash here above the left wave. Let's move the shape down and we name it Splash. You adjust the start point, open the contents property, set a path keyframe, press U and change it into a toggle hold keyframe. Oh, of course we should activate the CC white time effect again. Now we quickly animate that little splash. Let's have another look. Deactivate CC white time again. Details definitely matter here, so add more of them. One last thing, let's glam this drop up by right clicking on the shape and adding a layer style, bevel and boss. Size around 30, soften around 14. And let's change the shadow color. That's very much up to your personal taste. Into his 
let's add another style, like Inner Shadow. Set the blend mode to lighten, the color to white. Distance to around 2. And let's add some noise. Set it to around 18. Now we simply copy the layer styles property and paste it to the other shapes. How beautiful she is. I've added some more details and expanded the animation. What do you guys think? So I guess this isn't a perfect solution, as After Effects isn't made for frame-by-frame -frame animation, but it should be alright for some easy and simple shapes. On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side, I'd really appreciate it. And hit the bell, cause you don't wanna miss on anything here. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!